Now, back live to The Kenny Report. Welcome back. Well, Australia is clearly facing a new frontier in the battle against domestic violence, workplace abuse and sexual discrimination. The March for Justice, two alleged political rape scandals and the numbers of female MPs who've revealed what abuse they've suffered in the ordinary execution of their work have all contributed to the entire nation sitting up and taking notice. It is a conversation almost every Australian has had recently and that's got to be a good thing. But we've had another prime example of how badly female MPs are treated when they make a controversial decision, just as part of their work. Victorian MP Fiona Patton, formerly of the Sex Party and now leading the Reason Party in Victoria, became a target for the most abhorrent abuse anyone could imagine. When Fiona voted in favour of the continuation of Victoria's state of emergency, all hell broke loose. She joins us now. Fiona, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Nice to be here. So, in the last four weeks, when we've heard so much about mm. the excruciating details of abuse and, you know, the wreckage of campaigns from female MPs, you must have understood exactly what they were talking about. Look, I, I certainly did. And, uh, you know, sometimes you, you know, you know that there's a rough and tumble in politics. And, you know, as an independent member, as someone who's been a lobbyist around Parliament for nigh on 30 years, um, I, I, I get that it's a robust debate side. But I would say that I, what I've seen in the last 12 months has been something very different and it's been something that's aggressive, that's vicious, that is targeted and it's not something I've seen before. However, I, I guess the big question is how do parliaments start to behave better to, you know, lead by example? Yeah. I'll get to that in a second, but give our viewers a little bit mm. of, of an idea, especially those outside of Victoria, the kind of humiliation yeah. and aggro that you faced? Look, you know, from, from videos from people um, threatening to strip me naked, shave my head, drag me down the street, you know, with some innuendo from other people commenting on that video that they knew where I lived, to, to walking outside my home and a person on a bicycle just screaming slowing down and screaming expletives at me uh, to, you know, to, I, I would say, really unnecessary comments from colleagues, MP colleagues on social media, which acts as a, um, as a catalyst to sort of get other people to say other things. So we've had some pretty excruciating uh, phone calls, emails, you name it, yeah, people stopping me in the street. Um, yeah. All to, out of line, all out of threaten. line and all out of, yeah, thanks. I think, the context of what you were part of. Now, I didn't agree with the fact that you supported the extension, yeah. but we've got to do what I think the Prime Minister has mentioned three times in the past two years. We've got to disagree better, don't we? Yes. if And, no, Chris, I mean, I think you will remember, I mean, I, you know, I, I have been in robust debates, whether it's Senator Haradine, um, yeah. Senator Abetz, you know, I, I, I'm, I have been in robust debates about a number of controversial issues, but we've always been able to do it at, with a deal of respect, yep. with a deal of understanding that other people do have different positions and that that does not give you the right to threaten people, to, to threaten violence against someone. It's, that's not the way, A, you know, I've written to a few people saying, if you're trying to encourage me to vote the other way or if you're trying to encourage me to, to change my mind, this is not how you do it. Yeah. You are not winning me over. Yes, you don't win the behavior. argument with abuse, exactly. Can no. I just go to, can I just go to right. the solution, Fiona? I want to get to this. I know the Prime mm. Minister and others yeah. are in the process of changing... Uh, the way complaints and the way attitudes operate in the federal parliament house. Mm. But can politicians at the federal level and at the state level do more to, to, to force change in the community, do you think? Look, I think we can, and I actually think we need the media to help us with this as well. You know, most of the time, politicians agree with each other on, on both sides. 
you know, we're, we all want what's good for our, our community. What the community sees is us screaming at each other in question yeah. time. You know, that's, that's what they see. They, or they see each, you know, leaders calling each other liars, you know, saying whatever. They don't see the 80% of the time when there's consensus in our parliament. Yeah. And maybe we need to talk more about that. Maybe we need to talk more about where we, the, where we agree. And yes, you know, robustly debate our positions and advocate for where we stand on issues. But for the most part, I work with my colleagues very well, and we, for the, a lot of times, actually further policy through consensus, not through disagreement or screaming across the chamber at each other. Yeah. Well, there's a really good message to, to the MPs of all of Australia to, to think twice about how they behave and how they argue in a public sense. I yes. guess you'd be looking forward to some of those changes in the federal level, though, because change is required, isn't it? Yeah, and I've, this is, I'm in my second term in the state parliament where I sit in a chamber that is nearly 50% women and I, I, I truly believe that, that that equality that we see in that chamber actually changes the way that we work together. We work together in the same way as, as we work together at home with, a, with our families, that men and women work together well when, when there's a balance, when there's an imbalance that does um, create some of the problems that I think we're seeing federally. And they, they need to just, I, I would hope that this time is a time, is a game changer, is a point in time that we will see a, a very different parliament in the next coming 12 months. I think you're exactly right. It, it's good conversation. It's conversation that is so mm. widespread at the moment. Thank you for giving up some of your yes. Easter. Have a great time over the next few Thanks, days. Chris. Thank you for your time, Fiona Patton. Thank you.